brothers and sisters just a quick one of encouragement you know I'm out walking the dogs it's we've had two um, gales here in the UK mainly in the north and in the Northern Irish um, regions they've got it bad so please put your hands together and pray for us as we um, go through another one on its way and I can't think of the names of them to be honest with you coming that that frequent but 90 nearly 100 mile an hour winds some damage and some deaths here in the UK so do pray do pray do put your hands together we're, we're secure everything's good in the house and on the house so up to now praise the Lord Psalm 91 is um, is getting prayed over the house regularly but where are we brothers and sisters have you seen by yesterday's video the um, well, look at this. Are we in the right tribulation? We've got to remember that 2 Thessalonians was being written by Peter, um, rather, 2 Thessalonians, rather, and, and 2 Peter was being spoken in a way that everybody thought at that time that it was the tribulation, okay? That it was the tribulation, and it wasn't, of course. And this has happened many, many times. The First World War, the many wars where people think it's the tribulation. The thing is, and what we're trying to find out, is is this time the real end? And that's why I did yesterday's video to which was lovely comments. Thank you very much. Um, and this is where I'm digging. Is this the, the end time we're looking for? Is this the tribulation we're all looking for to happen? Or is it just another bad time? But bear in mind, in the, in the first century, they were Roman candling people, you know, uh, taking children, um, men and women from their families and wrapping them in tar and burning them um, as a candle at a party. You know, this is how bad it really was. So that was certainly, we've never had it so good. But what we are seeing more than anything is in the times of Noah, okay? We're seeing it in the times of Noah like we've never seen it before because of the immoral uh, attitude towards well, God's moral laws, the Ten Commandments, um, are being broken left, right, and centre. We're seeing, on top of that, we're seeing the wars of rumours of wars. On top of that, we're seeing all sorts of things happening, pers Christian persecution. Where are we seeing a falling away? And this is a question to you guys: Are we seeing a great falling away? I.e., the churches are. Or Christians are generally seen it as not in a relationship or oh, it's, it's a religion or is religious religion taken over is what I'm trying to say it's not not rehearsed this is just an afternoon chat with my family uh, you guys to stay encouraged and to be advised some of you do put good comments really good comments that help us in the search with is this the right tribulation should I use that as a title think about that it's recorded and for those who are wondering what's going on I'm doing a variation of recorded videos and lives we did a live yesterday so to stay in touch and be in touch so do you know we'll go into the second world war which we're dealing with that's how we found out pretty well what um, Isaiah 66 8 was referring to in the birth um, the labor pains was Israel the Holocaust, Jews the Holocaust. Um, go back and have a look at that. We're trying to stay on track because we really do want to know. You know, tribulation has been keeping Christians alive for so long that it's not wrong to watch out for the Lord every day. Virgins, wise virgins, lamps lit every day. So if nothing else, looking for the rapture of the church, whether it be pre-trib or pre-wrath, I don't really mind. Um, we're going through difficult times now in the world today. Um, I pray for them, put your hands together. So, but are, what are we doing? What are we doing now? Many people, not you guys, um, not the people that, that watch looking for the Lord, a good reason to look but we're looking at the people the, fall, the, the falling away 
are, are you in relationship with Jesus? I know someone very close to me, and I won't name them, that goes to church purely for the cake and the get together. Right? Does nothing at all to pray or be near Jesus or even get to know, doesn't read, doesn't, you know how it is. Are they classed as the falling away? Well, I'd say they were. And what am I doing here? I'm trying to put together the things, things that would add up to all things happening. Wars, rumours and wars, earthquakes, famines. I mean, plagues. We've had, we've had them. Oh, but they've been around in other times. Are they complete? And lining up with prophecy. I mean, you know, I'm reading a book which is every prophecy in the Bible. I've got two of them. I want to read them both. I want to get the, the meat out of them and find out where the Lord's leading me so I can instruct you if indeed that's what the Lord wants to do. You know, He will come in a trumpet blast, won't He? He will come with the voice of an archangel that day when it, it's over as far as Christianity is concerned or rather the first wave of Christianity because those who I've got to say this that tribulation is coming guys tribulation is three years seven years of which the last three years are gonna be horrendous like the world has never seen before it is gonna get a third destroyed or a quarter I'm not sure uh, don't correct me I was just uh, on the go and there will be a rapture before wrath that's for sure and pre-trib I'm quite confident okay that we're out of here before any of it begins but barring one thing that we will see the Antichrist or rather we will see the man of perdition if a whole thing happens on this planet if you're new and you're watching the channel for the first time you're seeking and a mass of people go nowhere just gone vanish it's not alien abduction it is the rapture okay because all the signs are on the table for rapture of the church so then is the time to open up the holy bible not nothing else not the mormon bible or anything else is not in it open the holy bible 66 books without the apocrypha um with the book of revelation in it and start reading it and that is coming that is coming from about chapter 5 onwards okay the state of the churches the first um, four chapters, three chapters, four chapters are about the state of the current churches in this day. It's written in an end times book. Could have been written in John's Gospel, but it wasn't. It was written in an end times book. So everything is lining up at the moment and more completely than ever before. In the Second World War, by the way, I think I've said this more than once. In the Second World War, the tetanus jab right was said to be the mark of the beast okay so what we're seeing today is nothing new because i get people saying oh, nothing new and the people that think it already already happened which is definitely not okay because the, the earth has not had the time to know but everything has happened and no it hasn't everything is still to come as indeed two thessalonians said back then you know then it is a shame Isaiah didn't write another few more chapters to explain but we've got Matthew 24 and the Olivet Discourses to sort of piece together which we will do in our search what I promise not to do is just things for the sake of doing them I want to have a purpose I, you know I've, I've been you know I've been through and an, an, an this whatever it is and um, dizziness and vertigo which has been good for four or five days now praise the Lord each day one day at a time dear Jesus one day at a time so but we're searching where did I go I've lost my track we're searching for, isn't it horrible to not have age and just go 
free free added with a video. <laughs> Stay encouraged, as indeed we encourage. Do you know? I don't believe there's one accident in God. I know there isn't an accident. There's no accidents in the Bible. And there's no accidents in God's in God. He doesn't have accidents. All right. So if we take that in mind. And all the bad things that's happened to me, and all the bad things I've done, I repent. There's no accident. I am getting to a point of when I rapture, or when I die, of having everything achieved in my life because I've been born again and chosen from birth. But born against the 16 and a half. Believed, accepted, simply accepted Christ. Now, the channel is about the promotion of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is about advancing the kingdom of Father God. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, if you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you are saved. Saved from that moment, you then repent. You repent, you change your, you change your thinking, you change your heart because you've confessed and believed with your heart. You just take it on board in faith, because it's by faith, through grace, and you start following him, however you do that. You pray to him, the Lord's Prayer, whatever you do, you start and you progress. A walk with him that will never be the same, but you'll never see it until it's the end of your life. And you're his, and then come and join us. Come and join the pre-tribune, tri the, the tribulation saints, okay, let's put it that way, come and join us, come and join the Lord, he's promised he will come in and dine with you, okay, so, and he's not a, not a God, and what, that'll start your walk, that'll start your walk, my walk's been wrong, with no mistakes, I think I've made mistakes, but I've always given to him all the way through, I've even, oh, I'll not go into it. Just meditate on that. Give me a thought. I could be wrong. But, but God doesn't make mistakes. and he's, I've been his for a very long time. So where am I going? Even with this illness, even with this horrible weather, <laughs> we, could, we could say bad things. But brothers and sisters, taking the dogs back, we've been out on a walk. Um, pray, for the, for, pray for us and pray for me that the illness will go and that any curse be taken off me. I send curses back. I pray, curse for, I pray against curses every day. The enemy does not want the word of God to go out and I'm determined to send the word of God out every time I get an opportunity. The gospel message must be spoken and the last of the Gentiles must be brought in. I'm going to leave you with may God bless you keep you, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you this day and of